Vanish is probably trying to figure out what the hell's going on. I never sit on the seat, so I never kick him off the seat. But I kind of wanted to have Christmas around me today. It is a miserable, cold, rainy morning. I got up this morning and told the kids ready, it was time to get ready for school and they said, it's not even morning yet because it's rainy. <laughs> and the sun is not really showing itself at all today. Now I just made it worse because I opened the curtain. Not all that cold, um, so I might take Callie out for a walk in a little bit, but it's not really the kind of weather that I really want to be out in, not really the kind of weather I want her to be out in because she will stink <laughs> when she's all done. However, I had a bit of a mystery happen this morning. Took Callie out for a pee break and brought her inside. Now it's raining outside, so I figured, you know, her paws would get a little bit wet, whatever. So unless it's like really like torrential downpours or it's really muddy and slushy and gross outside, I don't really worry about wiping her feet off with a towel too much and more or less just let her kind of sit on the on the carpet that's like right inside the door and just kind of let her feet dry off it's not really that bad it just kind of ends up with like you know little tiny little footprints everywhere but then she has now become comfortable going down into the basement which i love because eventually that's where we're going to spend a lot of our time especially now that my office is in the basement soon my bedroom is going to be in the basement and all of that kind of stuff so i'm really glad that she is getting comfortable and getting used to being in the basement so she went downstairs and then i went downstairs to go grab something and i came back up and there were soaking footprints on the stairs and on the floor and i couldn't figure out and i thought she'd stepped in something downstairs so i went downstairs to go see what she had stepped on i couldn't find anything i was like okay well there's nothing leaking down here I and mean, her blanket's not wet like her blanket that she sleeps on down there it's not wet and everything seems to be fine like i don't i don't get it it didn't make sense to me at all so i just kind of i grab a towel and i wipe her feet off and i just kind of call it what it is and i figure maybe it was a little bit wetter outside than i thought it was and and i should have wiped her feet off better so i'm standing at the counter and i'm making the kids lunches and i hear splash 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 and i'm like the fuck and i turn over and i watch this so i took a video on my phone i'll show you right now Callie, Mom, what please. are you doing <laughs> yep yep can you imagine that can you <laughs> You see her entire, and that's like, I only filmed her doing it twice. She did it like two or three times before I realized what she was doing, which means that she was also doing that a lot longer before that. She's never done this before. I, and did you see like her entire paw went into the water, like into the water, like soaked, like you could see her fur like freaking dispersed because they were getting soaking wet. Like what a little shit. Documentary? Doc documentary? <laughs> oh my god. Did I get lost in a swoop documentary? I did it again! Oh my god. Doc you mentary. Yes, yes I did. It is now 10 o'clock. Not that my phone doesn't die super quick these days. I have not, like, we've been eligible for upgrades on our phones for probably about three or four years right now, but at this point, why why bother adding extra stress to stuff you know because yes you can upgrade your phone but that's just going to add an extra what 50 bucks to your freaking plan every month like that's not what i want i ended up watching um i'm watching the one that she has on ss sniper wolf i have never heard of this girl before apparently she's very popular but it seems like she started off as a gamer so i guess that's probably why she never came across my algorithm because i'm not really into gaming um, my husband very much is, so I wonder if he has come across her. I don't think that it would be something he'd watch on a regular basis because she doesn't really seem like his his type to watch. Um, he more watches 
boring men who talk like this and they talk for a really long time and then they talk and they have more things to say and it's really annoying when I'm in the room next door. Incredibly annoying. I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter at all. So I kind of wish that I had known more about Swoop earlier in my life of watching YouTube channels because I probably would have gotten more into her. I love gossip channels but I love that she is not only a gossip channel she actually like looks into things and she tries to talk to the people that she's gossiping about. I got caught up in the toxic gossip train of Colleen Ballinger so I really I started watching all of the the documentaries that she made her videos are really long so I end up watching them bits and pieces here and there I'll go back to them when I'm you know doing dishes or making dinner or wasting time in the morning trying to avoid going to my desk you know because that's totally normal right she has a squeak toy But uh, yeah, I, if you're looking for some, if you haven't found her yet, I highly suggest going and checking her out. Um, obviously she doesn't need my um, endorsement at all. She's got all kinds of viewers. She's, she's set to go for life, I'm sure. But uh, I cannot recommend her enough. Like I said, I got into it with the whole Coley Bellager drama and all of that chaos that happened. Or sorry, I should say all of that toxic gossip train that happened. Oh my God. <laughs> and... Yeah, I have a bunch of stuff that I need to get done and I kind of set myself into a really shitty situation where I wanted to make my kids advent calendars and it is December 1st and I have not even decided what I'm going to do. Just saw a thumbnail with a picture of my sourdough starter on there. I do want to feed that sourdough starter because this weekend, this weekend for sure, because the kids are headed off with my grandma or with their grandma. Oh, I wish they were going off with my grandma. I miss my grandma. Found all those pictures yesterday and I absolutely just, I was surprised at myself because it's been, what, oh, wow. Wow, that sneaks up on you, doesn't it? It's been almost three years that she's been... Three? Oh my gosh. So in January, will it be four years? Oh my God. That just broke my heart all over again. That's crazy. It's been four years. I was just about to say, I'm welling, hold on a second. I was just about to say that I was very surprised at myself because as I was going through these pictures that I found, this photo album that I found, I am impressed and surprised that I wasn't bawling and in tears the whole time. Here I am. <laughs> Pretty close to tears just realizing how long it's been. My grandparents, both of my grandparents, the only two I had remaining, uh, they both passed away within months of each other. My grandma in January and my grandpa in April. And it was in the year of 2020. And I think I've talked about this before. I've, I'm sure I've talked about this before, but I cannot believe that that's been four years. In January, it'll be four years since she's been gone. That's incredible. Like, it, and she still has such a huge hole that is left in my heart because she's no longer around. Oh gosh. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead <laughs> and get working. <laughs> I have some things to do. I will catch up with you. because I really haven't done much of anything and I'm not really doing much of anything tonight because I'm honestly just gonna take the day to do nothing by myself. I have a ball of yarn and I have more of this color downstairs but I'm just gonna start with this. I think I'm gonna try and suss out, suss out? Who am I? I think I'm gonna try and work out some granny squares. Uh, it's been a long time since I've actually put, picked up a hook but I'm going to try and work out some granny squares and I think I'm gonna try and make like a, a patchwork almost blanket for my daughter, hopefully for Christmas. The kids are gone to their grandparents for the night and Anthony's off to his company Christmas party, of which I am not interested in attending whatsoever. So tonight I have the night to myself. I'm very excited. So I'm just kind of setting up 
the Christmas ambiance. I got myself some sushi. I got some, I'm making ice so that I can have a really good drink later. And I'm letting it all be, you know, I'm very excited. Maybe I'll pull up the camera a little bit later if I decide to do something more interesting. I fed my sourdough starter earlier today. So hopefully that'll be ready by tomorrow morning. Uh, and I'm watching the Squid Games reality TV show. And I don't know, maybe it's different when you're there, but I feel like a lot of these people are missing things. <laughs> like it's, it's really interesting. I, I just finished watching the picnic episode and I mean come on for you to pair up with people you like like do you guys not know where you are do you not know the mind games did you not watch the show like it's just funny to me anyways I'm gonna go watch the rest of it because I think it's over and then we'll check in later <laughs> Kelly what are we gonna do today just you and me you look so excited I think I need to get some lights for up here in this area for when I'm filming this late at night, but I'm alone. Anthony's gone. I have the entire house to myself. It's just me and Callie. I'm gonna tear this shit up, right, Cal? I all of a sudden have to pee like crazy. I, um, no, I'll feed her first. Oh, Callie. I get a good dinner. You might as well have a good dinner too, right? Can you see her? Look at her just waiting. Callie, are you good? Hmm. So I'm gonna feed Cal for dinner. No, not for dinner. I'm gonna cal feed Callie dinner, not feed her, I don't know to what for dinner, but that's not, that wasn't what my plan was. I was gonna feed her, I was gonna feed her her dinner, not for dinner. Anyways, whatever. Callie, we're gonna give you, uh, I was gonna say the good dinner tonight, but we don't have any pumpkin. I wonder if I have anything else that you can have. I don't know. Oh, what are we gonna have? What do I have? Hey Google, can carrot can carrots? <laughs> hey Google, can dogs eat carrots? Dogs eat carrots. Carrots are an excellent low calorie snack that is high in fiber and beta carotene. As a result, you will prevent choking. So I have a little carrot here. Should I peel it? Do you think she cares if I peel it? Why do we peel it? Why don't we just wash it? What is the peel thing? Anyway, so I'll give her a couple pieces of carrot. I think I'll do my mom method and make sure that I don't. Usually I give her pumpkin. I feel like carrot should be good, right? I wonder if she'll even like it. I'll just give her a couple. Head and finish doing this. I think I pretty much gave her the whole carrot, but I think that's enough. I didn't give her the whole, whole carrot, but I think that's enough. And then we'll add our other things. I don't like talking too much about what it is that I'm adding to my dog's food because I don't like the judgment that comes from animal love. Okay. Anthony just left. His friend picked him up, his friend Josh picked him up and they went off and I'm home alone. So now I'm going to sit down. I started crocheting. I wanna try, I keep seeing these beautiful Mandela crocheted blankets out there and I can crochet and I understand the concept of a Mandela and I kind of love that idea. Like I love that, that whole idea that you can just continually build up on the outside. I think at one point I will eventually square it off, but you can just continue to build it up with colors and circles and different patterns. But anyways, I am gonna go do that. I'm gonna go finish watching the rest of, I don't know if it's the rest actually. So I've been watching the Squid Games. Let's go sit down for a minute. I'm basically by candlelight right now. No, Christmas tree light. Oh my God. I do want to light a candle though. I found one. Don't fall, I'm just trying to move the table so it'll stop rocking. So yeah, I'm practically by just Christmas tree light right now. So if you can't see me, unfortunately, that, I mean, that kind of sucks for you, but yeah, I'm just lit by candlelight candle light right now. And oh my God, I said it again. I tried this so many times, but I can't stop saying that I'm lit by candlelight and I haven't even lit any candles yet. I did find candles that I want to light, but I didn't light any of them yet. And I'm sitting here beside my Christmas tree and that is what's lighting my face right now. It's just the Christmas tree and like the faint glow of a paused television show. I'm watching the Squid Game, the challenge reality competition. Have you been watching this at all? Like it is, was the first one called Squid Games? I can't remember. I think it's just Squid Game also, isn't it? So I just kind of started watching this Squid Game reality show last night. I don't think I'm gonna watch it for much longer because I kind of want to get into that like girly movie 
but Christmas movie. Oh, you know what I'm gonna watch? Is I'm gonna watch Bad Moms Christmas. That's what I'm gonna watch. Um, anyways, I'm on the episode right now. Is it called anything? Is it showing it anyway? Oh, One Step Closer. So it's the episode where they're on the glass bridge and there was some shifty shit going on, but also at the same time, like, it's a game, do your thing, you know? Like, if you don't wanna help somebody else out, then don't help anybody else out. You're only there for yourself and being nice to somebody doesn't mean that you are not going to it like it doesn't give you less of a chance to not fall through the floor afterwards is bad mom's christmas even on netflix anymore so i just went into the kitchen bad moms what did that to you <laughs> that's a bummer oh well anyways i'm gonna figure out what to watch but i what i was trying to talk about is that i have these oh, i've seen these blankets online that people are making and i've been i I have crocheted before. I can't say that I've been a crocheter or somebody who crochets for a long time because I've kind of put it down here and there, but I tend to pick it up in the winter. It feels like a winter craft to sit there and basically knit yourself a blanket as you're sitting there. I keep seeing these like beautiful Mandela blankets showing up on my For You page or even on my newsfeed for like people trying to sell you patterns and, and classes and stuff like that. And I'm the type of person to see something and I'm pretty crafty and I can usually mix it around in my brain a little bit and figure out what the concept is. This I've 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 done and I've and I've torn apart probably about 10 times, but at this point I think I'm kind of getting the hang of it and I think that I can start to incorporate something a little bit more interesting on my next like go about, you know? So, I'm pretty excited. I think they're just beautiful like they look so nice i think all like crochet blankets and stuff are beautiful though the camera away i'm gonna figure out something i gotta watch now man i was really excited about that i can't believe they took that off i gotta figure out what my next stitch is and i will show you if you want to see my blanket as i go about it i will frustrate myself with this over and over again before i watch a class Let's hold on i'm gonna pause this video for a second i found a movie to watch it's on amazon prime What's it called? Oh, Genie. It's, it came out this year with uh, Melissa McCarthy and I'm actually not sure what his name was. I don't think I've seen him in anything before. I could be wrong though. But look at this. It's actually like it's starting to have like, I figured out how to do all these little holes and I just kind of almost made petals. Now I'm going to go get something to eat, but when I come back, I'm going to try and connect these petals to each other with a gap in between there and do something like that there like you would when you're doing a mandala but i also need to go downstairs and get the other ball of yarn that looks like this but i think it's actually turning out to be really really pretty i just put it on the pillow so that it's all flattened out and you can see it but i'm gonna go and get my sushi i wonder if i have any ice yet it's getting there but it's not ready i'm very much a very basic person I went to Sobeys. I prefer Zaire's sushi over Sobeys and I prefer grocery store sushi over restaurant made. It's true. It's just true. I'm not, I don't know what it is. Like I like, we've ordered sushi from like sushi places, obviously. I've never really liked it after the first like few bites. Like I don't understand how people can be like, oh, I could just eat unlimited sushi. I just, I, that's not me. That's definitely not me. I am an unlimited sushi. This is kind of like a teaser. This is kind of like, oh, I could use just a little bit more, but I just spilled sushi, uh, soy sauce everywhere. Well, oh, I'm so excited about this sushi though. Let's go eat some sushi. This movie's actually really super cute so far. I'm really excited to watch it. I decided to just grab my Pepsi out of the fridge and just drink it without ice and maybe we'll get some ice in a little bit, but I also have some bubles for later if I want to, so. Cheers. Um, but my camera's about to die. I'm gonna go plug it in somewhere. I should have a charger around here somewhere. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my night. And if anything else exciting happens, I'll let you know. Probably nothing incredibly exciting. Just sushi, movies, Christmas night, Christmas lights, and quiet. It's very quiet in here. There are no kids in here. There's no husband playing his phone so loud that everybody in the whole entire house can hear it even though it's two inches from his face. <laughs> it's just so quiet in here. It's kind of, it's really nice. As, as an only child, I'm really enjoying it. Anyways, watch this movie. I recommend it.